In order to set up the Stream Deck for Final Cut Pro, you want to download the app first through Elgato's website. Click on Mac, then you got right here Stream Deck. You'd want to click download. I already have it downloaded. You can open up the Elgato Stream Deck. So right here, this is what so I have the Stream Deck Mini and I have it set to when it opens to have Final Cut Motion Video Pro C con Video Pro C Converter screenshot and then the next uh, it goes over one click here right and it goes over and you can put whatever you want over here so I'll go ahead and delete this real quick and show how it works okay so I want to open up Final Cut so right here you click on system and click on open drag that over here title let's put Final Cut click on app file scroll down to Final Cut Pro and open so now it opens up Final Cut Pro. Now, so right here is titled Screen. When you click on Profile, you'll see you have Final Cut Pro. I'm gonna hit Edit Profiles. I'll go ahead and delete this right now just to show how it works. So Screen, New Profile. It's a Profile 1, Edit Profiles. Hit Enter, and you type Final Cut Pro. So this is where you now are able to have what happens when you click on Final Cut Pro. So if you want to have, uh, let's say you want to put copy paste, you'd click on system, hotkey, hotkey, click right here, and I'm gonna hit Command C, title, I'm gonna type copy. Over here, let's do the same thing. So, so basically to, for Final Cut, a lot of the stuff you gotta do is just the hotkey button. Uh, hotkey command V paste so that's what you do for all the things you want to do um, so let's say you want to have an app you can open up when you're there so let's open let's see I, I use vid pro C a lot while I am using Final Cut so click here scroll down to video pro C converter open so this now opens up now for the picture, you're able to go to the store. So I can sign in real quick. Go to products. So what I ordered was the Final Cut Pro icon sampler. And so it gives you uh, the different Final Cut Pro buttons. Now this is free. So you click on it, download it, open in Stream Deck. You click go ahead and open. It says it's already installed. So now when you click on here for copy, click Open Stream Deck Icon Library, and you have your Final Cut Pro icon. So right here, you already have copy, and then you can get rid of the title. And there you go, there's copy. Do the same thing for paste. Open Library, exit out, get rid of the title since it already has it on there. There you go, copy, paste, and so you're able to just have that throughout out of here. And now I have the Stream Deck Mini, and what's cool is you can keep clicking new slides so even though there's only you only have six buttons you can make it so right here you click next it goes over and then you add more and you click next and goes over and you can just keep adding them so I thought that was really cool I'm gonna go ahead and click on edit profiles on Final Cut Pro application and click on other, I'm going to scroll down and just click on Final Cut Pro and open. So it automatically switch to this profile when the Stream Deck app window is closed and the foreign application is in the foreground. Final Cut Pro. Alright, now I'm going to exit out. Uh, one more button I like to add right here is the close. And so you can do something like force quit. So it just exit right out. Or you can do, you could add the hotkey to uh, force quit Final Cut Pro. You can go to switch profile. This is on the Final Cut one and have it go to screen so this brings you back to the home page so the force quit one I'm actually going to hit delete to get rid of it and I'm gonna add the hotkey I'm gonna do click to assign and my shortcut to uh, exit final cut is command O okay so I don't see any icon so all you gotta do is just for title add quit I believe on the force quit one, uh, you just put the application you want it to force quit. So I'm pretty sure that's what you do, but I I, I'd recommend just doing um, the quit hotkey for Final Cut. So now when I exit out, I can click on Final Cut. 
it opens up Final Cut Pro for me. I can click on copy, paste. It does that all through the Elgato app and then I can hit quit. And then it goes back to the original thing. I can open up my next uh, application I want to upload or that I want to work on and that's how it works. That's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. Please consider commenting, liking, and subscribing as it helps this channel to grow. And thank you so much for watching.